These fractions would be an absolute nightmare to add together if we were going to do a common denominator thing. Now, what I wanna do is notice some nice relationships. So I'm not gonna think about all the fractions at the same time, I'm actually gonna isolate just a few at a time. For example, although 22 and 33 are also not the nicest numbers, they do have a relatively easy common denominator in 66. So now I just need to figure out how to express something over 22 as something over 66 instead, and something over 33 as something over 66 instead. This is where we want to start manipulating our fractions by multiplying by a form of 1. For example, 1 over 33. We're not going to double anything. That's the really common student thing to say. Oh, let's double the 33. Or I guess if you prefer, it's like, yeah, okay, we can double the 33, but if we're going to do that to our denominator, we also have to do that to our numerator. Because the only reason that I'm allowed to isolate and then just manipulate one fraction at a time is that what I'm multiplying it by is one. And when we multiply things by one, they don't change. Doing that here gets us that one over 33 is the same thing as two over 66. Similarly, three over 22, we can multiply not by three, but by a form of one that kind of looks like three. Three over three, which turns this into nine over 66. And what's interesting about that is when I add those together, I get 11 over 66, which now simplifies to the much nicer, in some sense, one sixth. So these two fractions together make one sixth. I'm gonna see if there are other fraction pairs here that can combine in a similarly clever way. For example, I noticed that 19 is a factor of 38. So in fact, I can just use 38 as the common denominator when I wanna add those two together. I'm gonna to multiply eight over 19 by two over two, and that's gonna give me 16 over 38, which you'll notice when I add those two together, I get 19 over 38, which then simplifies back down to one half. And so I can see part of what's happening here is as we add together the not so nice fractions But still pair them up in nice ways. They end up making much nicer fraction pairs Fortunately 4 over 39 and 3 over 13 again have a nice relationship in the denominator 13 is a factor of 39 and specifically if we multiply that first fraction by 3 over 3 once again We end up with 9 over 39 which we can add to 4 over 39 and that gives us back 13 over 39 or what simplifies to one third and so that means that all six fractions are taken care of and all we're really adding together is a one sixth plus a one half plus a one third a third plus a sixth is a half plus another half makes one and so in fact all six of these not so nice looking fractions happen to add together to make one